Shalom family. I hope y'all are having a blessed day. I wanted to give an update on the video I posted earlier about the Kenyan digital ID push by Bill Gates to mark infants out of the womb with the digital ID from the time that they're born. Now, if you haven't gotten a chance to see that video, definitely after you're finished listening to this, take a minute to watch it. It is a news story that has come out. It is making the rounds is circulating right now. As a matter of fact, uh, even Go Black to Africa covered this story. And it's something that is being exposed on TikTok. But I had someone who left a comment on my channel and I didn't stop to look at their name. I just looked at their comment because they were threatening me that they were going to report my channel for repo reporting, in their words, false information. Now, I don't know if they understand what the definition of false information is, but false information is reporting on something that is not true, not something that is older. So this person then goes on to say the Kenyan people, they went against what this plan was. And so that is the more updated story. And that's perfectly fine. And praise Yah for the Kenyan people. Now, here's the problem. Again, the story that is circulating is not false information. Will be, what will be deemed false will be if the story was inaccurate, if it was a made up story. There was nothing made up about that story. We in the West don't get information as readily and as quickly about Kenya or any other African country that you get right away. Okay? So if it's making its rounds now, we report on things that are making their rounds now. So what I decided to do in fairness was to look up the story and post here where it says Kenya's dig digital ID boosted by Gates Foundation, but government struggles to convince citizens. Now it's interesting how they titled that headline. The government, they struggled to convince the citizens. That means that the government, the president, all of them were trying to get their own people to be guinea pigs for what all intents and purposes looks to fit the MOB category found in scripture. Now this person uh, threatened me and wanted me to take the video down. That will not happen. You could do what you want to do, uh, but don't threaten me. You're already blocked. Don't disrespect me on my channel. Don't do that. Um, but it won't happen beyond that for the reason that it is not a false story. It is something that legitimately happened in the country of Kenya. And the fact that we're in that time period right now where this type of stuff is going on, people need to be aware of what is happening. People need to be aware that in 2024, we're in the time period where digital IDs being um, pretty much injected into infants straight out of the womb is something that is being pushed. You know, when we think about who's pushing this this uh, plan, this objective, we think about the Gates Foundation that's pushing it. Where are they pushing it? They're pushing it in Africa. Will Gates go to any European nation and try to push that type of uh, invasive procedure on any European person? Absolutely not. One of the things we understand way more in the West, those of us who are in the diaspora, than those on the continent, is that the white man speaks with a forked tongue. Okay? We understand that. We have seen how these colonizers will use all manner of pleasantries to try to convince you to do everything that is against your beliefs, your morals, and your own well-being. And we have tried in the West to tell you the truth. But many of you don't want to believe us because if it's white, it's right in your eyes. And I hate to say that's the case of the matter, not all of you, but a good number of you have allowed for this same foundation to come in and to inject you with other toxins and other poisons and be perfectly okay with what they're doing because they told you that it was in your best interest. So when we're reporting about these things and we're telling you guys that y'all don't need to be so trusting of this person or that person, then understand we're telling it to you because we have a history with these people. Now I'm glad, praise y'all, that the Kenyan people stood up and they said absolutely not. That's what we have to do. We have to stand our ground. We have to say when these 
radical European colonizers are pushing forth their agendas because we know these governments are selling out. We have to be the ones to say, absolutely not. I'm not going for it. No way, no how. We have to stand. We have to pray. But the fact of the matter is that we are still in that time frame. We are still in the time where that is being pushed. So it is a story worth covering. It is something that people should know. Why? Because our people on the continent, they need to be aware that every single time they will be targeted because they are on the land. And those colonizers want the land and they want to destroy you. So I just wanted to come and clarify really quickly about that story. Wanted to give an update. I thought it was in the best interest of all of us to have an update on the story. I agreed with the commenter in that regard, but I do not agree that the story in itself was not a legitimate story, nor do I agree to take that story down because people need to be aware of what's going on where we're at today. So that's all I wanted to say, but do me a favor and like, share, subscribe, and also drop a comment below in the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are. Do you believe that the situation over in Kenya, that how it has changed, takes away from the legitimacy of what the Gates Foundation was getting ready to do? Or do you believe it's a nothing burger? Let me know in the comment section below.